The transductor is composed of the unit pod itself. Software CD-ROM. User's manual video. USB cable. Transmission serial shift cable. Domestic universal cable. Which is used for ground actuated solenoids. Asian universal cable. Which is used for power actuated solenoids. The IM page 1000 and P-Dance match adapter box. And its proper blow molded case. This makes it a complete out of the box solution to all your transmission diagnostics. Dedicated cables can also be ordered separately. Like the transductor, any dedicated cables will also come in their individual cases and allow for the same diagnostic abilities as the universal cable set but only faster. This is a great option for high volume shops. We see now the opening screen for the transductor software. With one continue button in the center of the screen. Once this button is pressed the software will enter the built-in transmission troubleshooter section. First step is to pick your vehicle. You choose from all domestic and Asian manufacturers. Immediately, you'll be asked to pick from the tabs above. At this time, you must choose a transmission type or the software will not allow you to proceed. This is done at the first upper left button. To the right, you then see all possible transmission types depending on the vehicle make that you chose before. The trans fluid band shape is also shown to allow for proper transmission identification. This entire section is the transmission troubleshooter with extensive diagnostic capabilities and information. As soon as we pick a transmission type, the transductor button will show up at the bottom left of the screen. Choose it to go into the transductor section. Once at the transductor screen, press the bottom center button to start communications. You'll first need to type in the transductor serial number found in the quick installation sheet and at the bottom of the unit. Then, type in the COM port number assigned to the unit. To find which COM port is assigned, follow the on-screen instructions. When this is done, the unit will let you know if communications have been established and a series of section tabs appear at the top of the screen. These are the five sections which cover the entire transductor section of the software. The first section is the manual transmission shift section, which allows manual shifting of any electronic transmission. This section is used to verify mechanical integrity, so that if the transmission shifts manually, there's nothing wrong with its internal components. Here, you'll also see an output voltage feedback, which may be used to detect open circuits. In this, and all other sections, the position of the side switch is also monitored. The unit will ask you to flip a switch, if needed. This switch controls whether the unit is in ground or power control output. The manual shift section has only one button to start the test. It also has four digital readouts for the four shift solenoids, feedback voltage reading, one gear position reading, and the trigger mode display towards the center bottom of the screen, which will show you the side switch position state. By just pressing the start shift test button, the unit goes into first gear, and the upshift and downshift buttons will appear. Use these buttons to run through the entire gear shift range. Notice that as soon as you go above second gear, all the top navigation tabs will disappear. This is normal. You can only leave this section if you're in first gear. Next is the view shift solenoid signal section. Here, you'll be able to detect intermittent connections at the transmission harness, connector, TCM, or anywhere else in the circuit. This section outputs a waveform to four fast graphing meters. No other adjustment is needed. The unit sets itself up completely. On screen, you'll see the applicable solenoid, digital readouts, and the waveform. This section also lends itself to the wiggle test to detect loose connections. By just pressing one button, the unit starts graphing. Notice how a loose connection is readily seen on screen as a series of square pulses. This wiggle test can be done with the key on and engine off. Easy and simple. The automated open and short circuit section is a unique and very advanced part of the transductor software. This fully automated section tests all shift solenoids for open and short circuits. 
It does this by pulsing each solenoid, capturing the signal, recording it, and running it through a series of analysis and mathematical formulas. All this happens on the background and needs no user intervention. This section also outputs the digital values of the different tests. A feature to manually long pulse the solenoids is also included. This will allow for the technician to manually long pulse and stress the solenoid to bring out any intermittent pause. As soon as the start test button is pressed, the automated open short test will run entirely and the results will show up to the left. Voltage readings will display to the right on the screen. The bottom white screen simply shows all solenoid waveforms as they get actuated. Notice how the transductor flags a faulty solenoids in this next test and turns the display into red. As mentioned before, the manual pulse feature allows each unit to be stressed out before each test is done. Use this feature repeatedly to pick up on intermittently faulty units. A feature to manually long pulse the solenoids is also included. This will allow for the technician to manually long pulse and stress the solenoid to bring out any intermittent falls. Next, we'll see the ISS and OSS section, which simply shows a waveform signal for the input and output speed sensors. The beauty of this section is that it needs no adjustment whatsoever. Just connect the sensor and press a button. The two graphing screens for the ISS and OSS can also be used with the wiggle test to determine any faulty connection or intermittent problems. Here we see a simple sensor waveform. Once connectors are wiggled, you'll be able to tell if a signal dropout is present and find the problem. The next transductor section allows for fast pulsing of each shift solenoid independently. This section may be used to try and remove dirt and debris from within the solenoid fluid conduit by raising the RPM in park and pulsing the units. This action may get the transmission shifting again, then a transmission fluid replacement may complete the repair. This section can also be used to stress out the solenoids while in operation repeatedly. Another feature of this section is that it shows the command and feedback signal for each solenoid This also allows the technician to verify proper circuit integrity, as well as equipment operation. If a commanded signal is seen, but no feedback, then look for open circuit problems. If no commanded signal is seen, then the transductor is not connected to the battery, or the battery is dead. All this is done by simply pressing a button, and no other action is needed from the technician. Finally, the makers of the transductor, automotive diagnostics, and publishing will also create and custom make any transmission cable and software module, as needed. This option, sold separately of course, virtually guarantees that this unit will never become obsolete. With this amount of features, a universal cable set, dedicated cables, and the ability to custom order specialized cables and modules, and a full diagnostic database, makes the transductor a complete transmission diagnostic solution, found nowhere else. The actual transmission troubleshooting side of the transductor is a very broad and comprehensive section covering components location, photographs, check ball position, wiring diagrams, a complete transmission faulty code diagnostic section, possible code to problem analysis, and much more.
This allows the technician to move back and forth between the transductor and the troubleshooter to arrive at the correct diagnostic solution. Fast, unique, and intelligent diagnostics.